Mo Shi Mo Shi, my gamers, and welcome back to Genji Impact. Your diet has been quite plain recently, and Paimon's been missing the special spice of life and food. As such, you head over to Ramen Restaurant, only to be several old friends. Thus begins another wondrous round of training. Today, we're returning to Lue. How long has it been since I last been here? Kokushinobu and. Hey, what? This cookie shinobu huh? and and I saw a lawyer. She's Traveler, like Paimon, you're here too. Yo, cookie is like a snake puss in those eyes. Yumpy shinobu, here for some hot pot, huh? What's the occasion? Well, is Charlie's cooking too hot to handle? No, it's nothing like that. One main restaurant's just closed for a couple of days, but it's nice to try somewhere different for a change. Sue Arnyang's hot pot is pretty good, and you can't get it at Wanmin restaurant. Wanmin's closed? Why? What happened? Well, it was partly our fault. Recently, some old classmates from the Tongwen Academy got in touch and said they were organizing a get-together. Yenfei's the most senior among us, since she's the most qualified, so she got to pick the location. And she booked Wanmin restaurant. The turnout was a lot higher than expected. And in the space of two days, we somehow got through all of the restaurant stock for the week ahead. <sighs> Boss's enormous appetite was also a significant contributing factor. He went a little crazy. Chef Mao was pretty wiped out by the end, but he had a huge smile on his face. It was the best business he's had in months. The only thing is, it'll take him at least a couple days to fully restock. Ito? Bull checkers here too? Oh, I'm surprised we haven't seen him. Those horns stick out like two sore thumbs. Yeah, when he heard I was meeting up with some old classmates, he got very excited and decided he was coming with me. His logic was, and I quote, any classmate of Shinobu's is a classmate of mine. Notwithstanding the fact that Boss has never studied a day in his life, I think he just feels that he didn't get enough chances to indulge his taste buds last time he was in Liyue. That other kid you guys brought with you, though, what was his name again? Oh yeah, Grandmaster Hanakado. He seems like a smart cookie. You probably didn't notice because you were busy chatting to your classmates at the time, but he was helping Chef Mao out in the kitchen, uh, trying to pick up some uh, Liyue cooking skills. I suspect he just wanted to learn how to make some new dishes to feed to his own Ikabuto and make them stronger. Grandmaster Hanakado? Uh... Where do we know that name from? Oh, yeah! Didn't we meet him during that beetle battle thing that Bullchucker organized that one time? That was like last year, I believe? I think so. The Almighty Agaki Exonodity and Exhaust Extreme Beetle Ball? That's right! Good memory, Paimon! After the near catastrophe that was the Beetle Brawl, Hanakado became an ally of the Arataki Gang. He and Boss regularly hang out to have practice matches and discuss Onikabuto rearing strategies. But to his credit, a lot of the things he ropes Boss into doing in the name of beetle brawling actually result in Boss doing some real work for a change. It's made things a lot easier for me. For instance, they've decided to spend a few days helping Chef Mao restock the kitchen. Partly to thank him for the epic feast and partly because they would like to use the opportunity to look for new ingredients to boost their Onikabuto's performance. I think they're out looking for crabs at Guyun Stone Forest right now with Miss Shangling and Mr. Guoba. They all seem to get along great. Guoba's already made friends with Crimson Staff, as Ito calls it, and uh, something something Beetle King or whatever Hanakado's is called. They've been out for quite a while though. Shouldn't they be back by now? Unless something put them in a playful mood. In which case, it's anyone's guess what kind of mess they might be in by now. Well, now Paimon wants to join in the fun. Crabs from Glee and Stone Forest? Mmm, Paimon bets they taste great! Why don't we go see if they need our help? The sooner Wanmi Restaurant is fully stocked, the sooner we get to eat there again! And while we're at it, we can see what Bullchucker and Grandmaster Hanakado are really up to over there. Gathering greens will go faster with more hands. So you two are gonna head over? I think that's a great idea! The Traveler, Paimon, and Ito make a good team. Not everyone can get through to him, but he usually listens to you two. You make a good point. Well, 
Thanks for checking up on them, you two. We have to go all the way over there. Oh, um, okay. Wait, how do we get there? By swimming? It's not about saying you can go in the water or anything. That's kind of how they're doing what that. A bummer. I know a swing hotel, don't worry about it. If you get the wet, um, at least going to be the freeze your ass. So, they'll just wait over there. You usually do monsters out here as in the healing trolls, but I don't see any. Unless Edo took care of that for us. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> He's also a fucking idiot, Edo. Oh, Oni. I love him for that. Alright, huh? now we are nearby here, so what's the big deal, buddy? Now, a hard shell, a whole bunch of legs, looks like a born warrior. The crab is the Onikabuto of the sea. Throw one of these bad boys in the ring, and your <laughs> Onikabuto will have to seriously up its game. My god, my boy. That's right, Oni King. Technically, the crab belongs to a different species, but it has all the qualities of the perfect warrior beetle. Pitting Onikabuto against crabs during their training is a surefire way to rapidly improve their strength. Then it's time for Crimson Staff and Ironclad Beetle King to train harder than ever before. No rest until they've flipped every crab in the area onto its back. And once they're done, we'll just need to stoop down and scoop them up. No more chasing crabs all over the beach. La 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 la. Oh boy, what are you singing? Looks like Xiang Ling and Guoba are part of the gang now. <laughs> ah! Time for Hokkaboggle versus Crab! Uh -huh. Traveler Paimon! Fancy meeting you here! Are you guys out for a walk or something? Oh hey, no! Xiang Ling! Hey Guoba! Well, we were going to gorge ourselves at one mean restaurant, but then we ran into Yanfei and Shinobu, who told us you were close for a few days. So, we figured we'd come find you guys and see if you needed any help. Aw, you guys. <laughs> Thanks for being such loyal customers. It's so kind of you to help. With Mr. Ito and the Grandmaster helping me for the last couple of days, we've actually got most of the things we need now. All that's left for us to get are some fresh crabs. And Crimson Staff and Ironclad Beetle King will be able to round them up for us in no time. If everything goes to plan. Why is the monster there? Uh-oh. I may have spoken too soon. We should kill him. It's a geofishing hatchling! Go check her! Hanakata, watch out! Hold on, stay calm. I'll assess the situation. Boy, you're brushing your hell, dude. We're gonna fight! Hmm. Hard shell? Check. Legs? Not too many. But it more than makes up for that with the whole rolling thing. Yeah, looks like a mean fighter. This is what you want to train your own Ikabuto against. Um... Uh, <clears throat> how right you are, Oni King! With a training partner like this, an Oni Kabuto is sure to reach the apex of its abilities. Uh, what? Are they serious right now? Yeah, I don't know. Wait, I think I recognize that thing. It's always rolling around on a nearby island. It's made quite a reputation for itself as far as Guyun Jiu bishops go. People have taken to calling it Crystal Tornado. Why Tornado? It's because if you ever set foot on its little island, then it whooshes over and gives you a nasty whack on the head. It's really aggressive. How did you come to learn that? Oni King, allow me to send in the troops. I shall monitor the battle from a safe distance to assess our enemy's prowess. Go! Ironclad Beetle King! Test your challenger to its limits! Huh? Um, can evil- <laughs> He's like, what the fuck is that? No, no chance. Just watch, look what happens. Ah, Ironclad Beetle King! See? He does even shocked! Ah! <gasps> One hit and it's all over? I don't believe it! That, 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 that's not possible! Okay, listen up, Grandmaster. The glorified pet rock is clearly tougher than it looks. Time to show it what we're really made of. From what I've seen, our opponent has a lot of brute force, but no finesse. Lugging all that weight around is a recipe for crude and clumsy attacks. And if you don't land the hit, it ain't worth squat! Luckily for us, our Oni Kabuto have a little thing called agility on their side. Go, Crimson Staff! Dodge the limbs and tail, wait for an opening, and aim for the... Aim for the what? <laughs> He's like, God, this fucking idiot. 
Belly. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Oni King. Shall I send in some more Oni Kabuto or? Uh, I, I well, you, um, what? Wait, what's Koopa doing? No! Koopa like we got some food. <laughs> no, wait, listen, listen. He looks shocked, like, <gasps> what is that? Paimon's food? Oh, he went away. Never mind. Wait, the bishop can understand Guoba? Huh, it just up and left. So, to answer your question from a moment ago, Paimon, I found out about Crystal Tornado's aggressive tendencies the last time we came to gather crabs in Guillaume Stone Forest. Tornado gave Goba a big old bash on the head the moment he saw him. But then Tornado fell unconscious, and apparently wasn't seen for weeks afterwards. I guess he's finally recovered from his injuries. Damn, Man, that's a big what habit. a cool guy. I mean, I figured he was a pretty epic dude just from the look of him, but uh, I've never seen someone just stare an enemy into submission like that. There's only one possible conclusion. This is a warrior with strength, the likes of which I've never seen before. I must say, I concur. I don't know how, but Guoba san simply commanded that hard-shelled beast to stand down and retreat at once. Come to think of it, he seems like a pro at catching crabs, too. Hmm. Guoba san clearly has some sort of power that lets him bend the minds of shelled organisms to his will. Ah! <gasps> That's it! The truth has been hiding in plain sight all this time. Guoba-san is a virtuoso beetle battler. With his skills, he can direct an Oni Kabuto's each and every move. Huh? Oh, of course. Yeah, that makes total sense. <laughs> These are the kind of brainwaves that make you the Arataki Gang's greatest ally. You see, if we can get Guoba-san to teach us the art of shelled organism mind control, we'll be unstoppable. The entire beetle fighting world will be our oyster. <laughs> Can we stop discussing what special powers Guoba may or may not have? We have to get these crabs back before too long or they'll go bad. And then this whole trip will have been a waste. Right. Get a move on, Bug Checker. Shinobu's waiting for you. Also, we want to eat. Damn, you're hungry, fat ass. Huh? Wait, wait, when did we get two new people? Oh, compadre! <laughs> if it isn't the Yoni King's right hand. Oh, and of course, the flying lavender. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Sky cleaving white iron lavender melon. New nickname, huh? And he finally notices us. Wait. Oh, man. Don't tell me you saw me lose that beetle fight just now. Oh, so humiliating. Ha <laughs> ha! My bad. So come at us, I felt lucky. Kabuto don't stand a chance against the Geo Bishop Hatchling. Next time, just give it a couple of whacks with your club. But that would defeat the whole purpose. Uh, let me explain. Now, it's no secret that you've kicked a fair share of butt in your time. And from what I hear, that includes some of the biggest, most powerful, and meanest butt around. So how'd you do it, huh? Were you born stronger than your most fearsome foe? No! Do you rock up to every fight believing that your odds of winning are 100%? Of course not. You start with an impossible goal, defeating the unbeatable enemy. And then you do whatever you gotta do to achieve it. Because even you can't know how much potential you have until you push yourself past your limits. That's how you make yourself not just stronger, but stronger than you ever imagined you could be. Flee the fight once, you'll probably flee the next time. And the time after that, next thing you know, you're that boring little twerp who never had the guts to put himself out there. Because when you flee the fight, all you're really running away from is the person you could have become. Well, could have put it better myself. Uh, what's gotten into Bullchucker? He actually said something that made sense. For once, Paimon has nothing to argue back. No. Hungry. You hear that? Bob is getting hungry. Crystal Tornado's gone now anyway, and your Oni Kabuto won't be ready to fight again anytime soon. So, are you just gonna stand here gawking, or...? Chef Sama makes a good point. We are still far from being worthy enough to seek the tutelage oh of God, the mighty well sensei, Guoba-san. I have heard tell of a great contest of fine warriors that was once held in this place. 
We stand on hollowed ground, and the very air we breathe is abuzz with the might of great duelists. I say we set up a ring here and now. I shall summon the mightiest beetle battlers of Liyue, and as iron sharpens okay. iron, oh, we will them? hone our skills and training with them. Then, and only then, will we be ready to seek the guidance of Kuobasan. Once we have learned his ways, we will track down that shelled beast and do battle against it once more. Paimon's got a... well, a feeling about this, but not actually sure if it's a good one or a bad one. Uh-huh. Oh. Oh, oh! Oh, I'm with you, Grandmaster. Yeah, you're saying the time has come to unveil the plan. <laughs> this is the moment. It's time for the long-awaited Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp. That's right. There's no time to lose, Oni King. Let's set up the arena. Oh, she just ran away like Sonic. Hey! Look at them! Not a care in the world! Alright! More build fighting! Woo! What did they say it was called again? The Arataki... something something? Anyway, some sort of beetle fighting tournament, right? I think Hanakato might have mentioned it before. If I wasn't so busy with work at the restaurant, I'd love to take Woba along and watch. But right now, the top priority is dealing with all these fresh crabs. Come on, let's head back! Shinobu was mm. saying the Arataki gang came to Liyue for her classmates' reunion, right? Won't throwing an impromptu beetle fighting competition interfere with their plans? <sighs> well, not much we can do about it except to head back to Wanmin and tell Shinobu. Good idea. This is a disaster. Bet you the muscle who know, like, Raw Kame Hotel! No, bye bye! Ah! Where'd she go? She went away. Like a ghost. Go. Uh, look, oh, it's shiny. Wasn't it kind of dark here? Yenpei, Shinobu, we're back! Guoba, Shangling, Traveler, and Paimon. Uh, wait, where are the other two? <sighs> Let me guess. Ito and Hanakato are up to their usual antics. She got down my husband. We'll fill you in shortly. First, I need to get all these pristine ingredients safely stored away. The Mistflower Corollas won't keep the crabs cool for much longer. Plus, the Traveler and Paimon are valued customers, eagerly awaiting a grand feast. I'll get cooking, then we can catch up while we eat. Good idea. Shall we go wipe up a meal from ingredients collection on the trip? It's not long before the exceptional meal is served. By now, Yanfei and Shinobu are hungry too. The feasting begins. As you die, you tell Shinobu and Yanfei about Ito and Hakuto's ones in the Crystal's tornado, and the plan to hold a beetle fighting boot camp. Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp? <sighs> that doesn't bode well. It won't be long before things get out of hand. We're guests here, which means we're supposed to be on our best behavior. Leave them to me. I'll put a stop to it. Hmm, I don't know. I think it could be fun. Anyway, don't stress. Beetle fighting sounds like a great event idea. According to the Comprehensive Compendium of Liyue Law, we just need to notify the relevant office of the Ministry of Civil Affairs, and they'll issue a permit pretty much right away. You never know. Maybe you'll make some new friends with this event. Then you'll have even more people to hang out with when you next come to Liyue. Yeah, and you can bring them all to Wanmin Restaurant for your meals. Hey! <sighs> Wait. First the event, and now you're already planning our next trip? Uh, given the Arataki gang's financial situation... Ah, uh, come on. You gotta learn to cut loose more. You came all this way. You should be focused on catching up with old friends, making some new ones, and just generally hanging out and doing lots of fun stuff. I need to be at the Ministry of Civil Affairs shortly for something else anyway, so I can get the ball rolling for Ito's thing while I'm there. All right. I'll handle that while you guys head back to Ito and help get the venue set up. I'll join you later and bring the permit with me. Okay. Yante is in a good mood today. She didn't take any persuading to help out with the event. Well, event planning's right up her alley. She was an officiator in the Masterful Chefs Contest, and she has a lot of contacts because of her work. She's also on vacation at the moment, and her old friend Shinobu's in town. That's definitely put her in the mood to have some fun. Well, I've missed my chance to discuss the issue of our funds. 
Guess I've got no choice but to deal with Boss directly now. Traveler, Paimon, thanks for all your help so far. I promise I'll make it up to you the next time we meet. Uh, you mean you don't need us to come with you? Well, if Ido's serious about defeating that Geovishop hatchling with Onikabuto, Paimon's kinda curious to see how everything goes down. We'll help you deal with Boss. Now that you mention it, didn't you help Boss out a lot at the last one of these? The almighty Arataki Extraordinary and Exhilarating Extreme Beetle Brawl? Oh, we didn't really help out. We just played a few matches. But it was actually super fun. <laughs> Either way, it sounds like you understand Boss's perspective far better than I do, so maybe you'll be able to help me talk some sense into him. I'll take all the help I can get. Sure, or, uh, you know, maybe we could just let him go ahead with it, huh? I don't know about that, Paimon. Uh, oh, I'll just teleport. That's more easy this time! How do I do it, by the way? That's kind of crazy. All right, boss. Fun time in Liyue is over. Let's head home. Shinobu! I, I, I can explain! No, you can't. Our funds have run out. We've spent too long here. After buying our tickets for the boat home, the gang fund is down to double digits. How can we possibly afford to hold a tournament? Yenfei Senpai very kindly offered to handle the legalities, otherwise you wouldn't even have a permit. Are you expecting her to foot the bill as well? Put a stop to this now, before things get out of control. But, but, you don't understand. We have a situation here. Normally, I'm happy to do things your way, but the Arataki Gang's two top Onikabuto warriors just lost to some pet rock. This is the name. Look, we have a whole arena set up and everything. If we back out now, we'll be the laughing stock of the entire beetle fighting world. What am pointing down? You've lost plenty of beetle fights before. Even I can beat you, and I'm not even a serious player. Why are you so bothered about losing to some bishop hatchling? Oh, Shinobu! That was a low blow. Anyway, that's ancient history. I'm on a whole different level now. There isn't a single beetle fighter out there who can touch me. I'm serious about beating that pet rock. Don't think I've got what it takes? <laughs> Gladly. You want to do this the hard way? We'll do it the hard way. Grandmaster Hanakato, get me and Boss a beetle each. Maybe he'll be more amenable to reason after a crushing defeat. If I win, you have to come back with me. No complaining, and no making any more trouble for Yenfei Senpai. Uh, Shinobu! Oni King! I... You're really doing this, huh? I, uh, didn't think you'd take it this far. Okay, uh, so, sky-cleaving white iron lavender melon, I delegate this challenge to you. You're making Paimon fight me? <laughs> no surprises there. No surprises here either. Uh, what Bull Checker is really saying is, if you want to fight the Oni King, you have to go through Sky Cleaving White Iron Lavender Melon first. Exact mundo, amigo. Sky Cleaving White Iron Lavender Melon is one of the Arataki Gang's top beetle fighters, but Always bush even your she hail. isn't in the same league as moi. So Shinobu, if you want to duel with the Don, you gotta beat the Milan. Except, <sighs> I'm on refuses. What? <laughs> And she's like, no dick or pussy tonight, darling. It's like, damn it, Shinobu. Even Paimon knows that you can't just expect other people to pick up your slack all the time. It's not right. So if you're out of Mora, then top luck. You gotta watch your sending. Exactly. If Paimon helps you out, that'll just make more trouble for Yanfei. And then Shinobu will owe her a favor. Okay, true. You make a fair point. But it's all good. I have a backup plan for situations like this. This is me. If we really are out of funds, then, uh, I'll find a job. I'll work nights, do beetle fighting during the day, and pay any expenses out of my own pocket. Eh? It'll work. The Grandmaster has helped me find a few good gigs before. As long as it's physical work and the pay is good, I'll take it. Now you're talking! See, that's the kind of attitude Paimon can get behind. We are on a top dog, you watched the bomb line. <sighs> I can't believe you guys. Your plan is all well and good, and I do hope you try not to be a burden on other people. But you still need to beat me first. I know what Boss is trying to do. He's making me fight Paimon first to use up my Onikabuto stamina. <laughs> well, good luck with that. Even with a disadvantage, I'm still not going to make this easy for you. Mm. 
Beetle Battle Bootcamp is about to begin. We have played this before, eh? Okay, so wait. Q and. Wait, D? Oh. And then back up. Uh -uh. And then. Da! Come on! Uh, and then Q the dodge. Oh, deflect! This is unfair. I hold Q to command completely. Okay. Uh, oh, you're trying to blast me like Kame Kame, huh? Yeah, come here, come here! After a first battle, Shobu Ugly only loses the Kuno style under Paimon's direction. I lost. I can't believe it. You want a hug for losing? It's okay. That. That was so tense. What? Shinobu nearly got the better of Paimon there. How was that intense? That was like five seconds of losing. Okay, fine. Um, what a dazzling duel. <laughs> hey, Sky Cleaving White Iron Lavender Melon destroys Shinobu on the first attempt! Ooh! <laughs> you really are natural at this, aren't you? As agreed, we now have Shinobu's official support to host the Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp! <sighs> I haven't battled in ages. Guess I'm out of practice. <sighs> I'll have to move to Plan B. Try to keep costs to a minimum. And make sure Yenfei Senpai doesn't end up doing everything for us. I'm gonna hold you to your word, boss. Fund this event yourself by working nights. Battle beetles all you want during the day. And one other thing. Our boat tickets home were booked well in advance. I can amend the date, but only by a few days. So keep this event to maybe four or five other people tops, or you'll run out of time, okay? I don't want you getting carried away. Got it. Sure, promise. Cross my heart and hope to die. Shinobu, you've got nothing to worry about. Oh. Okay, I'll head down to the harbor and see about changing the tickets. I'm warning you, you'd better not go spending all our mora while I'm gone. Oh, otherwise, no more pussy! So we've only got five battles to get in shape enough for Guobasan. Then we gotta master what he teaches us, then take down that cocky pet rock. Shinobu is asking us to do the impossible here. Uh, any noise? But this is the kind of hardcore challenge I live for. <laughs> Don't worry, Oni King. I'll find people to join us in our great training endeavor. So long as there are worthy beetle battlers to be found, I'll be sure to sense their presence and bring them over to our camp. We haven't been in Liyue for long, but I'm certain that this vast land is filled with mighty warriors. We'll have no trouble finding but one of these each day. Now! As for the esteemed Oni King's right hand and honorable sky cleaving white iron lavender melon. It's fucking Paimon! <laughs> We've done our part. We saved your butts by getting Shinobu to agree to this. Paimon saw the look of sheer terror on your faces. You're clearly no match for her. Surely the Akai King gets credit where credit is due. Oh, well, of course. <laughs> I, I will uh, uh, leave it to me. I'll come up with something. You'll get your reward, don't you worry. In the meantime, if the Oni King's right hand and sky cleaving wide iron lavender melon don't have other plans, then prepare to watch history in the making. Because in a few short days, I, the bona fide Beetle Battle King, will raise my game to new heights, win the respect of Guobasan, and become a living legend! Booyah! Cool! Yeah, we'll be watching. So, uh, <laughs> no pressure or anything, but. Why oh, we sound so echoey? If you mess this up and everyone completely wipes the floor with you, we'll see the whole thing. She sounds creepy in the end. Um, okay. Tap the four buttons to just the old expand a small amount of sound to move half a title. Half a title to forward and get close to his opponent. This move will not deal damage. Hold the four button to destruct the over the charge energy. When the charge puzzle ends, the over will expand a greater amount of stamina to rush forward. When a rush hits an opponent, it can deal damage. The stamina will consume the distance travel, and the damage did will be changed based on the amount of time spent charging. A fully charged rush will take a quick two far forward. If it reaches an opponent at second position, upon finishing the rush, it hits it. It can perform a piercing strike to deal greater damage. You cannot trigger the special attack by tapping in advance, and overcharging will not allow you to trigger it either. The time spent charging decides your rush distance, and you can use the charging progress to judge how far your ogre will advance forward. Tap the back button to expand a certain amount of stamina and extract the ogre topo to move one tail backward and dodge your opponent's attacks. If your distance of time of the dodge is incorrect, 
you ultimately may still take damage. I mean, I pretty much know what it does, so you don't expect me again how it works in this game. So, is that it? Oh, there's actually more to this. Actually, hold up. Is this worth story quest? Oh, it's just that it. Oh, it's just that. I don't even know. Let's give this a try for an episode. Considerable combat street at minimal and close range. Attack constantly, minimum speed. Okay, so. Oh, I hear you. Oh, I supposed to talk to two of you. Okay. Hello, all. I am Iron Tongue Tien, here with an official signboard for the Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp. It also doubles as your permit to run the event. Whoa! Is this supposed to be Bull Checker and Crimson Staff? It's so over the top. Oh, oh sweet! Sadly, it's not my own original artwork, but check out that design and that line work. I think she should do it. It's so cool. With someone else. <laughs> it's epic. It captures exactly how awesome I look as a pro beetle fighter in the heat of battle. Dude. Wait, not that. Uh, how do they usually address strangers in this part of the world? Uh, maybe Esquire? Ah, that's the one. Tien Esquire, your artwork is incredible. Words cannot express the Arataki gang's gratitude. You can drop the Esquire, Don Arataki. Also, I'm no artist, just a storyteller. This promotional artwork was done by a young lady at the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Yenfei looks out for her a lot, so when she heard about your event, she offered to contribute some artwork. Oh, so this is Yenfei's doing. Man, she really thought of everything. This is exactly what we needed. Young Grandmaster Hanakado here tells me that your boot camp is an ambitious training program that could shape the future of beetle fighting. Well, I'm no beetle fighter myself, but I've heard a lot about it and have always wanted to try it out for myself. <laughs> Who knows, it might just give me the inspiration for a great new story to tell in the neighborhood. Beetle fighting is something you have to have a natural affinity for. Take Sky Cleaving White Iron Lavender Melon, for instance. She battled with great prowess on her first time after only a short demonstration. Once Tien Esquire has grasped the basics of beetle fighting and understands the appeal, we might get a lot of free publicity from his storytelling. Dude, uh, that'd be awesome. All right, Squirt. Uh, squat. Yeah, yeah, Squire. Yeah, Squire. <laughs> uh, may, may the best man win. Can't even speak. Alright, now we're getting started. I um, do we have to do I mean look here, this is a pretty spy. Alright, um Why is it golden? I'm red. Back up, back up, back up! Yeah, you need to aim. You're very weak if you ask me. Take this your bitch! Ha ha ha! Oh I'm gonna dodge one button. Hi ah, oh button. Dodge! Come forward. Hi! Nope. Nah. -uh. No! Yeah, that's why. I kicked your axe. Perfect. This level is, is just a put as much as the contents. Okay. Ah, wonderful. Hmm. I can see that the Arataki gang has transformed beetle fighting into a fiercely competitive high adrenaline sport. Yes, there are the rudiments of a fine tale here, to be told time and again. Great dueling with you, TN Esquire. Ah, the pleasure was all right. The phrase is, the pleasure is all mine, Oni King. <laughs> Details, Schmeetails. Point is, thank you for supporting our boot camp. I extend my gratitude to you too, Don Arataki. I intend to stay here and watch a while longer to further enrich my writing. Uh, please, pay no regard. Uh, just pretend I'm not here. Man, I've never fought against someone so cultured before. My mind's buzzing from all those fancy words. What's that buzzy feeling called again? Oh yeah, learning. Looks like the Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp is getting off to a good start. Yeah. We could do one more again, but we do got what we're gonna do for that episode. This is the little girl, Buttercup of Terror. 
Um, that's your name. Flow child. <laughs> Pony Kabuto are our friends. Like cats and doggies. Another kid? Oh, didn't we go through this last time? Well, yeah, but Grandmaster Hanakado's a kid, too. And one of the other kids from last time was actually pretty good, so age is no measure of a beetle fighter's skill. That's oh, true. No, uh... Buttercup of Terror has no prior beetle battling experience. Her chosen Oni Kabuto has the air of a formidable warrior. I don't know what you guys are talking about. My Oni Kabuto was a present from Daddy. He got it from a new friend he made last time he was away. Oh, -ho! your father sounds like a real stand-up guy. Okay, let's send out Sky Cleaving White Iron Lavender Melon for this one. We don't want any accusations of bullying flying around. <laughs> wow, you know. Still, Paimon's probably the safest choice. But only because I mean, yeah. two maniacs are a danger to yourselves and others when you're in a competitive mood. Don't be nervous, young lady. It's only a game, so it's just for fun. Okay, this is easy. Press the guard. Oh, you know how to do that. You don't have to tell me what to do next. Oh, he's so tiny. Aw, but too bad. You're done. Yeah, come here. Come here. I die, I touch! Yeah, come here. Think of it. Yeah! Think of it. Boop! Nope. Yeah, it's gonna save his time. Toy strikes! Back <laughs> up! Nah. -uh. Come here, you bitch. Come here. Bye! Yeah, ow. Bye! <laughs> Ouch, my ass! Oh, that's so tiny. You got that dash? Nope. Oh, you just died. Never mind. That's what I call a strike down. It's over? What fun! Yes, that was fun to murder your bug! <laughs> Paimon nearly messed that up! Only a few times. Uh, oh, I nearly died of a heart attack. That little beastie is fierce. Even I would have had a hard time. How'd you get so freaking good at this without a teacher? Is everyone in Liyue a born warrior or something? So, this is how Oni Kabuto play together? I get it now. Uh, do you have time to play some more? And I also want to watch you guys play too. Looks like Buttercup of Terror has a real knack for this. Oh, kind of terrifying. Hey, Bullchucker, if you had this kind of talent, you could probably have learned how to communicate with shell creatures just by listening to Guoba talk to Crystal Tornado. Ha! <laughs> yeah, I wish. Oh, did you push Nobu? Little bash, he's not gonna be healed. Alright, guys, I'm gonna avail. Nice to slap, I'll see you later. Sayonara.